Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in again. I just want to say um, a big thank you to Este um, for retweeting my latest video which was um, the vlog for her Thanks A Million Party and so many of you have subscribed and watched um, that specific video as well as others and I just want to say I'm so grateful to Este for that and also for you guys just um, clicking you know um, the play button and just watching. Um, I kind of feel so overwhelmed with emotion and um, appreciation to all of you so I just want to say thank you um, and I hope I can kind of keep pleasing you with my future videos to come um, and as promised I'm going to be showing you what's inside the thanks a million gift bag it's here um, I think Fran is definitely the one who did the um, illustrations to this um, so I'll definitely link her below I've counted and I think there are 14 items in the bag um, and then the 15th item I guess you could include the tote itself. I'm so happy with everything that's in the bag, I really feel like we've been spoilt um, and I just thought I'd go through um, everything that's in it and I think that Estee's also done a competition so one of her other viewers can win the bag so make sure you definitely enter because it's definitely worth it. So let's get started. The first thing that was in here is this um, popcorn. It's proper popcorn done properly. It's the sweet and salty one. Um, and the packaging on this is really cute. I'm not a fan of popcorn personally, but I'll be giving this to my brother. Um, I'm filming this on the Saturday, so the event was on the Thursday, but I didn't want to open or ruin anything just so I could show you guys. So I'll give that to my brother. Next is the tapped birch water straight from the tree made by the forests of Finland. I think she featured this in one of her favourites. I think it might have been June or July favourites. I don't think it was August. If it was, sorry, I've made a mistake. This is just the natural one um, with no other flavours. I think there are two other flavours that you can get. So I'm looking forward to drinking this. I'm really excited. And I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. So I can't wait to try that. Next is this box of green tea which is flavoured with a hint of mango by Clipper um, and I know Estee likes this brand for teas, I really like them as well and they don't bleach their tea bags so it kind of looks kind of yellowy when you take it out but they're really all natural and organic and I really really like them and they're also fair trade so I can't wait to have this, I'm going to uni soon so I'm really glad I get to stock up on tea. Next, there is some more tea from Tea Pigs, and this is the Licorice and Peppermint um, one. I love that they come in silk bags, I think it's so lovely. Um, and there are two tea bags in here. Um, I'm not really a fan of licorice, but I do like it in tea. Um, and with a hint of peppermint, I can't wait to taste that, and I think that'll be amazing. Next, we have the Paw Fessional, your secret weapon against pores. Um, I haven't personally used any Benefit products myself, um, but I've heard really great reviews about their like pore professional range. So I really can't wait to try these because I've got really large pores and I've got quite oily skin. So hopefully that will be really good. If I do like most of the things that I've kind of mentioned in this video, I'll do a blog post on it. Um, so if that's something you'd be interested in make sure you comment and let me know but I will definitely be trying these all of these products out in the kind of next few weeks so I will get back to you on everything in the gift bag. Um, next is the Elizabeth Arden Superstar Skin Renewal Booster. Um, it's really lovely. I don't think I'll personally be using this. I'm going to give it to my mum instead. I don't think it's for my skin type. Um, I'm only 18 so I don't think my skin's mature enough for it yet. Maybe I could get away with using this, but I think my mom would benefit from this. I know she'd like something like this, so I'm gonna give that to her. Next is this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. Um, and I know that Estee always goes on about this. It's like a chubby stick, like one of the Clinique chubby sticks. It's in the color Unapologetic. And I do remember um, Estee uh, mentioning that she really liked the shade in Unapologetic before. I have swatched this and it's a lovely colour so I will definitely be using this. The next item I have is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. I think it's in the shade Manic um, and it's a really really nice um, colour. I'm not sure if you can see that that well. Um, and 
I have to say, even though I haven't shown you the rest of the kind of lip products, Estee's chosen really nice colours that I think will suit quite a lot of um, skin tones. She's obviously much fairer than me and most of these suit me quite well and I think this is a really, really nice colour. And I don't have a nude lip liner so I will definitely be using this. It's such a lovely um, formula as well because I have swatched them and I really can't wait to keep using this. Okay, next I have um, four lip glosses. The first one is the... Sexy Mother Pucker um, Lip Plumping Gloss by Soap and Glory. It's also a really gorgeous shade. Let me just get it out of the packaging for you. I have used this and so is um, my friend Nalini who I took with me as my plus one. And you can actually feel like the kind of plumping effects of it. It's quite weird and tingly because you put it on and you kind of, I just kind of forgot about it. And I forgot that it had plumping, um, I don't know what the word is. Um, qualities let's say um and then my lips started tingling and i was like oh my goodness what's going on and then i remembered i put it on i personally don't think i need um help with in the plumping section of my lips but it's a lovely color it's gorgeous it is quite shimmery so maybe if shimmers aren't your thing i wouldn't recommend it and it's in the shade plumsum and it's really really lovely and it smells gorgeous i haven't really tried any of the um, soap and grow products so, I can't wait to keep using this it smells amazing and there's quite a lot in there I think it's yeah seven mil and I like the formula of that um next I have these Tarte um lip glosses and I never thought I'd be holding anything Tarte in my hands um not at all so I'm just going to take you through the colors so the first one is Elite and all of these are 12 mil they are the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint and I really can't wait to start using them. They are also similar to the Revlon ones so they're like this kind of massive looking crayon and yeah so it's also um, one of those kind of crayon chubby sticks that you put on. I will definitely be getting a lot of wear out of this. Uh, it's not matte, it's um, kind of semi-matte but kind of nourishing as well so I really like that shade and that was in Elite. The next shade is in um, Lovely. It comes in the same packaging again but this looks a bit more metallic so it's a bit more shimmery um, but it's also a gorgeous colour. Um, and even though they're quite similar, they do have like differences between them and I quite like that. The last colour I have is in this colour called Swank. It's more of a ready berry tone. The next thing I have is a NARS blush. It is in the colour Orgasm. Um, I really couldn't believe my eyes when I saw a NARS um, blush in here. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and my friend Nalini, um, she is into makeup, but obviously because I'm obsessed with YouTube and blogging and things like that, um, I kind of no more brands and like all the shades and things and I was like oh my goodness it's NARS so it comes in this tiny compact so that's the shade of orgasm even though it's quite um light it's quite pigmented and I think I can definitely get away with that so let me just swatch that it's so beautiful it's like a mix between a highlight and a blusher and it just gives this lovely kind of iridescence to the skin so I really can't wait to use that and I'll probably use it very sparingly the last kind of like beauty thing is this a moisturizer from Lush I personally haven't used any Lush products um, I definitely want to the Rose Argan body conditioner it smells amazing it looks that rose scent but with a kind of nutty hint as well I think that comes from the um, argan oil so I really can't wait to use that and there's quite a lot in there and it's quite a thick kind of texture so that was all vegan and not tested on animals next is the mug the um, thanks a million mug I'm not I'm really happy with this mug. I literally thought that we were just gonna get this mug in the um, tote bag. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy that we've got everything else in the bags as well. And because I'm going to uni, I um, needed some more mugs. So I'm really happy with this mug and I'm sure no one else will have one like it. So I really can't wait to use this, but I'm gonna save it. 
and I really need to look after this and make sure it makes all to university in one So place. next I have this Atlas magazine. I know Estee has raved about this, a magazine. It's issue number 11 and she is in it. Let me see if I can find her section. The first time I opened it, I opened it straight on her face and I was so happy about that. Um, so she's on page 92 and it's this. It's a really, really gorgeous magazine. Um, I need to kind of get into magazines. I'm not a fan of like tabloid or gossip magazines, but things like this that are just made with such good quality um, and you know good articles and things that I think I'd actually benefit from and you know would actually you know enrich me in some way or form I would prefer to get so I'm really happy with this and I'll definitely I was saying sorry my brother just came in then um, I don't pick up gossip magazines or anything like that I much prefer to get something like this or home decor magazines so I definitely will give this a read and let you know how I get on and I might continue picking this up in the future I really want to get into magazines so I think this is a great way to start so that is everything so the bag is empty now um, and I can use this bag all the time like when I go grocery shopping I can use this instead of taking a plastic bag so I'm really happy about that and even though I've already said it, I had such an amazing time at her event. I just keep catching myself smiling, um, just thinking about how amazing it was. You know, talking to Aslan and Amelia Liana and bon Bonjour Luce. I did spot Charlie is so cool, like, and I like freaked out so much just on the inside. And I was like, oh my gosh, Nalini, it's Charlie. Um, but obviously she didn't know who I was on about because she doesn't really watch YouTube but I was like oh my gosh and I think there was it was also Sani I can't say her name probably or Sani from Books and Quills she was there as well and I just kind of fangled but I didn't really go up to anyone and ask for selfies or photographs um, because I feel like I still feel like that's weird because I like to think of them obviously they're still human beings and I don't know I'm just I just don't feel comfortable doing that I just find it weird I'd rather just kind of speak to them and enjoy their company as opposed to just trying to document it because it's something I just plan to remember um so sorry there wasn't any footage of me like you know side by side Estee um I know she did kind of pop up next to me in the vlog at one bit um but yeah she chatted with us for a little bit which was really nice and you know not something that I'll probably get to do again or that frequently so I really had an amazing time the event was done so well so props to um, Lucy for kind of helping put, put that together and there was someone else that um, Estee mentioned in her speech which I also blogged I don't remember your name sorry um, but it was such a, an amazing event and I just still keep thinking about like how in awe I am of how amazing it was and Estee is so lovely in person um, and one thing I must say is that everyone is smaller in real life like I don't think YouTube like you, you know when you're filming it doesn't do justice to like proportions so I feel like in my head everyone was so much bigger but um, yeah it was it was really cool and like I said I haven't really gone to any YouTube events because I feel like they kind of would just freak me out just the sheer amount of people that would be there so having Estee having this really intimate gathering was so nice and obviously it's sad that she couldn't just invite everyone but I still feel like it's a gesture that shows that she cares about her fans um, and she just kind of wanted to, even though she couldn't meet as many people as possible, she just kind of made sure to make the most out of it for those who were there. So I thought that was so lovely of her. I'm just gonna keep like gushing, but I'm gonna leave it there because you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about this. But yes, I had an amazing time. And again thank you to everyone that subscribed since she um, retweeted me I really didn't expect this um, thanks so much for watching the vlog I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it um, and I hope that you liked seeing what was in the gift bag let me know if you did and I'll see you next time with another video thanks so much for watching bye